All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the internal RCS mod, which is being made by form user Nezd. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely selection of new RCS thrusters that are meant to fit flush with your fuselage. And I love this thing, as no longer do you have to have some bulky RCS block sticking out of your otherwise smooth aerodynamic spacecraft. So let's jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get. Now this mod actually has been around for about a year now, but I only just noticed it recently when it updated to 1.6.1, and that is a wonderful thing. So let's hit the janitor's closet mod filter and just leave on internal RCS, and this being an RCS-based parts mod, You'd think we'd go to command and control, which we can do. It has most of the parts we're looking for here, but if we go to the engines tab, we still get those same little thrusters, but we also get an additional solid fuel booster. Now we're gonna quickly run through all of the parts here and then talk about what makes them special and how they fit flush. So let's take a look at the odd man out being the only solid fuel booster here, and it's a pretty unassuming little booster. It's functional though, producing 25 kilonewtons of thrust using, of course, solid fuel with an ISP of a 210 max in vacuum. Now then, starting with the thrusters, we have a liquid fuel engine, which will produce a 3 kilonewtons of thrust max in a vacuum with an ISP of 310, once again using liquid fuel and oxidizer. Now we then have a 2 thruster version of it, a three thruster version of it, and then four, and finally five thruster version of it. And what's fun about these is, well, as they go up in number, they of course multiply the, uh, the kilonewtons of thrust. So you go from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12, finally 15 kilonewtons with the 5 thruster array. Now on the other side, let's take a look at the uh, typical monopropellant RCS thrusters here, where again we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 thruster array variants, and they are pretty nice. Now this one it will only produce 1.5 kilonewtons of thrust with the single engine, going up to 7.5 kilonewtons of thrust with the 5 thruster array. So not quite as powerful, but hey, it's, it's an RCS engine, you really don't need it to be super powerful. Now, as to how you actually make them flush, it's pretty simple. Now, of course, normally in the game, you could already use the move tool and turn off the snap to move these around, and you could, through movement and rotation, get them pretty close to flush on most parts. But in the end, you're always going to have a just, you know, straight 90 degree angle here on any of your thrusters. So it's never going to be quite right on rounded parts. And that is where this mod comes in with variants. So for this one, we have a 90 degree standard variant, a 75 degree variant, a 60 degree variant, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and 15. And with this, you can really make these fit nearly flush, or flush rather, too nearly, any part in the game. And that is pretty wonderful. I very much do like having this ability, as now we could fit it almost perfectly flush. Now, of course, the uh, cockpit here does taper in a bit, but at the end, I mean, we're pretty much flush with the fuselage there. It's only because of that inward tapering that the last one in the array isn't quite as flush. But if we were just using a single or even double engine one here, or actually from the looks of it, even the triple one is more or less in line there, then you're good to go. Just choose the right array of engines for the part you require. Now. 
on the variants, for some reason, the uh, solid fuel booster doesn't have as many as the monopropellant and the liquid fuel. This one only comes in 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees, which is a little odd. I don't know why that's missing a few other variants, but again, you'll find them here on the liquid fuel ones. Again, 90, 75, 60. 45, 30, and 15. And with these, you can do a whole lot of crazy stuff and fit RCS thrusters in a lot of weird places. For instance, if we load up a spacecraft I made earlier, I just took the Ares 3A and uh, turned it into this craft with a load of RCS engines scattered around the place. We've got them on the nose, which I didn't spend too much time fiddling and getting, didn't get it quite flush. I should have rotated a bit more. We've also got some on the top, on the top there, a little top and behind. We've got them on the side of the ship and even on the freaking wing. And now, of course, my placement once more isn't perfectly flush because, well, I didn't spend a huge amount of time fiddling, but with the rotate tools and move tools, you can get these things pretty darn close, keeping that nice, sleek design of your ships, especially when it does come to space planes. You know, you really don't want the typical bulky RCS block on your ship you want something that just fits right in line and can, well, be placed in odd locations. I mean, again, an RCS block on the freaking wing. I, for some reason, very much like that. <laughs> It amuses me. And, of course, they are all functional. Now, I actually did put a lot of these as liquid the liquid fuel and oxidizer ones, and, of course, there's no oxidizer on this ship, but, I mean, you get the idea. And if we do, I didn't mean to leave, I meant to launch. We'll load it from the runway, then. If you do have these on board, they function just like any other craft, and or, or rather, any other RCS thruster on a craft. So if we do load this plane up... And there we are, we have RCS thrusters. Oop, if I actually turned on my RCS, there we go. Now those two are the only ones I actually set to being monopropellant. The other ones really won't function well. But we do have things like these uh, fun solid fuel boosters, which we of course can activate typically like any other RCS thruster, where we can fire it. There we go. Beautiful. Now, the first firing that we had was uh, some of the uh, the liquid fuel and oxidizer ones. And again, because I have no oxidizer on board, they just kind of flamed out immediately. But with the fun little solid fuel booster and, of course, our just two sides of monopropellant, <laughs> it's, you know, a nice functional little thing. Should have spent a little bit more time putting other monopropellant engines on here. Uh, but yeah, it's just a fun little mod, and I just love having the ability of angling these thrusters and being able to put them pretty much anywhere and get them to fit in line with the spacecraft. So yes, uh, that's really all I've got to talk about with this beautiful mod. So if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.